I rise today to present SB 559, the State Water Resiliency Act. As I said before, we are on the verge of a global food crisis, and we are also now on the verge and entering a water crisis that requires immediate action, one that could find your constituents and mine not only searching for food, but also searching for water. As prices go up in response to the decreased water access and increased cost in getting food where it's going, from farms to grocery stores, and eventually our dinner tables, SB 559 can help prevent this. Last session, I introduced a bill of the same number that requested funding to restore the carrying capacity of the Frank Kern Canal. That bill was ultimately vetoed by the governor, but started a larger conversation about how and where we should be spending money when we have it to repair much needed infrastructure that can better prepare us for our water needs in drought and non-drought years. In recent decades, the legislature has made wise decisions to invest in repairing our crumbling infrastructure including in the 1997, the appropriation of over $1 billion for the construction of the new Bay Bridge between San Francisco and Oakland. Though the bridge was delayed in opening and cost significantly more than originally estimated, the, cost, the state moved forward with the project because as one of the most heavily traveled bridges in our state, it was necessary to repair and provided a net benefit for the entire state to do so. An investment in our failing water delivery system is no less important to our state and to all of us that live here. We grow crops that feed the world. But this is not just for agriculture. This water is used by residents in rural communities in the Central Valley and urban users in Los Angeles. Approximately 31 million of them. Some of whom live in our state's most vulnerable communities. This water also protects the largest remaining wetland complex in the Western United States, which is home to over 1 million migrating birds and is recognized as a wetland of international importance. However, with that being said, let's not discount the impact this legislation will have on our agricultural economy either. Farming contributes about $50 billion to California's economy every year. And that's without accounting for the economic impact on families and communities all over the state. In California, we've recognized our strategic advantages in certain industries and have acted to ensure they stay strong. Since 2014, the legislature has allocated $1.4 billion to the film and television productions to ensure those productions stay here in California. That's $330 million a year. And I support it. We need those jobs in our state. But just like Hollywood, California's agricultural industry is a world leader. Three of the four largest agriculture producing counties in the United States are in my Senate district. We need the jobs that, these, that this industry supports too. Perhaps more importantly, California needs the food that this industry produces. The nation needs this food, and the world needs this food. SB 559 provides us the opportunity not only to plan for our future, but to protect it as well. The bill requests $785 million to fund canal conveyance repairs over the course of 10 years. Repairs that will provide a net benefit to the entire state. In the past year, the Friant Water Authority has assembled more than 175 million dollars from local agencies and almost 250 million dollars in federal funding to contribute to repairing the Frank Kern Canal. Senator Feinstein and Congressman Costa offices are carrying federal asks that mirror the one I bring before you to fund canal conveyance repairs on the California Aqueduct, the Delta Mendota Canal, the San Luis Canal, and the Frank Kern Canal. It is imperative we invest in repairing these canals today, embracing our local and federal partnerships to do so, creating needed and good paying jobs, securing access to drinking water for vulnerable communities throughout the state, and ensuring our capacity to remain the food capital of the world. And for these reasons, I respect the last friend I vote.